Hello, Reborn family. Welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> um, I have my new baby. This is Nino Sculpt by Chenza. Uh, his artist is Little Dearies. And I brought him outside. Uh, we're just kind of hanging out. But I wanted to do a video with him um, outside so you can see him in natural light. And I thought I would show you guys, uh, I had gotten a haul for him back when I had sent him off to his artist, uh, just kind of blindly got some clothes. And we spent yesterday, part of yesterday, trying, having a little try on session of all of his clothes. And unfortunately, about half of them do not fit. Um, but uh, I did find uh, a lot of them did, uh, the other half of them did, and I did go through some of Caleb's things, which is, um, he is the Noah Sculpt, uh, and some of them, I found a few things that do fit him, uh, and I thought I would just kind of go over um, everything with you, show you what I have for him. Um, the thing I found with Nino is a lot of people have this sculpt as a girl. I don't know if they actually do see girl uh, in this baby or if it's literally just because I'm sure that this sculpt is easier to dress as a girl due to his smaller limbs. Um, he is three months size like body wise, but this the... Um, and the width of his limbs are very chunky, but the length of them, uh, his arms and legs are like newborn size. So it does make things just a little bit difficult. Um, but I found that, um, I, I kind of found some things that I think fit really well. So I thought I would kind of go over what I found. Um, I'll show you guys what I got for him uh, previously. I did not realize that most of the things that I got him were winter clothes. <laughs> so this poor baby does not have a lot of summer clothes. So, um, but I have tried everything on. Um, these pants do not have a brand. I believe that they're like overseas kind of pants, but um, they're gray and black and they have dinosaur bones on them. sorry um they have dinosaur bones on them and um I did try them with the um the bottom of the pants have like the cuffed part where it's kind of you know it's kind of a cuff at the bottom or a gathered at the bottom um I did try them with a cuff and without cuffing them and um it is definitely better uh, I think it fits a little bit better with them cuffed. They're baggy. I like my baby clothes baggy. So, um, but they fit him like waist wise really well. Um, and these are size 70. I'm sorry for all the racket. I got a lot of these pants. Uh, these are Renee Rothy. Um, but the pants that have kind of, um, more of a wider gap between the legs because um, the Nino, well, any baby with uh, chondroplasia has um, their bow leg, bow legged, which is just a characteristic of having a chondroplasia. Um, so I tried to get pants that are a lot like this and they fit fantastic. Um, so these are Renee Rafi, uh, zero to three months. And again, they have the gathered bottoms. Um, they fit really good. They're kind of baggy, but they fit really, really well with this gap right here. Uh, and again, you know, if you need to roll them, you can. I think they're cute either way. So those definitely, I got several pairs of those. These are Old Navy, zero to three months. Um, these uh, are dark gray. They have little stars with happy faces on the knees. Um, these are super cute. Again, I think they looked okay with the gathered part or with it rolled up. Either way, they were really cute and they fit them really good. 
here's another one these are carter's three months again i tried to get where the out opening was just bigger wider um and these are a light gray they again have the gathered bottoms um they fit really really well and i didn't really even feel like i had to roll them up these are just one new carters they're gray and brown they have uh it's sort of a knit these fit really really well i did roll the, the cups up on these one just they were a little bit long and two um they're super cute but again they have the gathered bottom uh they fit in really really good i did already have this hat um it's a little baseball hat it fits his head really well um he does have a very large head this is bon Bebe. um it doesn't have a size but um caleb used to wear this um and it fit him so i did find out that it fits toby this is a sleeper this is disney baby zero to three months i tried this on him this does fit him really well um it's got mickey mouse on it and um little fuzzy stars the m's kind of fuzzy this fits him so good so he's got a cute little sleeper sorry i hit the camera this was another thing I bought. This is H&M, one to two months. It's white, and it has little baby Mickey all over it with stars. Um, I guess this is more of a romper. I mean, you can use it as a sleeper, but um, has the gathered bottoms. This fits him really, really well. It's a little big, but not bad at all. Like, it fit his arms really well, um, so that fit him well. This was one of the first sleepers I got him. This is Little Beginnings, zero to three months. Um, it has little mustaches and top hats and bow ties and glasses all over it. This is, it's got the feet. Uh, it fits him extremely well. Um, it's not too tight. It's not too big. It fits him very, very well. And these are all pre-loved. Um, this outfit here um is carter's three months it's this beautiful white outfit gathered at the bottom again um i had to pull it up to about here um but it fit him so nicely it was big but very classy uh looking and was not too big uh, so i absolutely loved this on him um i don't know if this was pre-loved or not I actually bought that off of somebody. Um, this is an outfit I tried on him. I'm so sorry about all the noise. For some reason, everybody decided to come and do all this stuff uh, right when I recorded. So <laughs> this is an outfit. It's zero to three months. It's these cute little pants. They're blue. They have dark blue stars on the knees. Again, gathered at the bottom. The top um, is dark blue and it's this all long sleeve it says i love mommy to the moon and back and it has stars on it this fits him really good um it's not too tight it's not too super huge um i did have to pull the pants up a little but not that bad at all so again that really it fits him good um i tried this top on him i actually got this um thinking um one of the other babies and i tried it on him this is granimal zero to three months um, this is previously loved. It's long sleeve. It says make today awesome. Um, it fits him okay. Um, the sleeves and everything fit fine. Um, I, you know, it's, of course, like I said, it's not too tight. It's not too big. Uh, it fits him really good. So there's another pair of pants. These are Absorba, zero to three months. Again, with the, um, this one actually has like extra fabric right here. Um, these I did plan on rolling up because the gathered part at the bottom is really long. So um, I did um, try these on him. They're they're big, but they're super duper cute. Um, they fit him around the waist really well. Um, I think it's the extra fabric here, um, but I really like them on him. And then last, I got these. These are Carter's three months. Again, with the wider leg um gathered bottoms and um these fit him really really well so what i found is that 
um, I did buy him a couple pairs of pants that didn't have these gathered bottoms. And honestly, they look like he had bell bottoms on. They went past his feet. Um, I did not like the look at all. <laughs> so I think I have found that as, as a boy um, in this sculpt, that um, the gathered bottoms actually are better, in my opinion unless you can find a really um, like a three month size with a short leg or you're planning on sewing them. Um, I just found that even the three months, if it fit him around the waist, the legs were way too long and way too big. So, um, so yeah, I do. I am, there's uh, several pairs. There was one that was way too tight uh, that I really thought would fit him. They, I got them on him. They were a pair of jeans that had overalls attached to them. Um, but when I put the overalls on because of the size of his body, they were newborn and I got them on him. But when I put the suspenders on, it brought the pants up to here. <laughs> so it looked really funny. He, yeah, poor thing. So anyway, those were the ones that I've bought him already, um, that will fit him. Everything else I'm going to have to unfortunately take back. Um, this was one of Caleb's uh, little outfits. I forgot to snap it up. But um, this is Carter's three months. It's just a little romper that has, I believe somebody gave this to me. Um, it says bright little one. It has clouds all over it. It's just like a, a short sleeve little romper. This is super duper cute on him. Um, it actually looks like a little pants outfit. <laughs> it's definitely not shorts. Um, but it fits him really well. Um, so shorts outfits are probably going to look like pants outfits, but that's okay. Um, I did find this onesie. This is a three month size onesie that I had for Caleb. Um, I believe this is Carter's, but this fits him really nicely. Um, I found this, this is actually the, the brand is the baby bunch. Um, this fits him really nicely. Um, this is a zero to six months. Um, but that fits him really nicely. I found these faded glory baby overalls that were Caleb's. Um, they're zero to three months. It looks like a pants outfit, like a blue jean, um, overall. Um, so it's really cute and he could wear it in the winter time. It goes all the way down to his feet, but it's not it just look, it looks really cute on him. So, um, he's, he's going to get that from his brother. Um, this onesie is just one you Carter's three months. This was again, one of Caleb's, um, it, it fits him wonderfully. Um, so, and the color is just fantastic on him. So he's going to be, it's got a little pocket here, uh, with the blues, the different shades of blue and white very cute fits him really well i found these shorts that were caleb's these are koala baby zero to three months these are super cute they actually do look like shorts on him not pants um i mean i have to hike them up so like if you were to wear them down here they would look like pants but um about right there um yeah they're super cute and they fit him really really well and then the last thing i found that um had caleb that was Caleb's is this cute little, um, romper. This is Serco newborn. Um, this is one of Caleb's and it's blue and green. It says too cute. And the number four words, and this is really, really cute on him. It's nice little summer outfit. It looks like shorts. Um, and this fits him. So what I found was if anything that has these little snaps right here off to the neck, like off the neckline, these are fantastic for him because he has a very large head and if it's not a stretchy material it is not going to go over his head um you would either have to bring it up through the bottom um or you're he's not going to be able to wear it so if it doesn't have a stretchy neck or one of these so like if it's a newborn and you know it'll fit his body but it's not a stretchy material unless you can go through the bottom it's not going to go over his head um <clears throat> so if you can find a newborn like this is circo newborn but i but it has these snaps off to the side he can wear this 
Um, so that's the one thing that I found on some of the other things I got him was if it was big enough, um, a big enough newborn, like it was a really large newborn, but I couldn't get it over his head and it wasn't a stretchy material. So I couldn't, I'm going to have to get rid of it because I can't fit him in it. Um, so just wanted to share like that's that stuff so far that I found is that, um, yeah, even though, um, he is kind of a newborn size legs and arms, um, he's not going to fit newborn clothes around his body. Um, and that you got to make sure that it's going to fit over his head because he has a very large head, like a six month, nine month size head. <laughs> so, um, and I'm recommending anybody, especially if you're going to have him as a boy to have either the gathered pants at the bottom or be prepared to do some, uh, sewing because, um, they go way past his feet. So, yeah, so I, I thought that would help anybody who's thinking about getting the sculpt. Um, I also did not realize um, I was breaking down the box, um, the boxes from both the babies and found Little Deary's business card and this cute little pacifier at the very bottom under a flap of the box. So um, she included this little ma'am uh, with a car on it and her business card. And this is how she does her pacifiers. She uses putty and then just the magnet, but look how stinking perfect that is for him. Like he fits ma'am really well. Um, I'm gonna try the other ones, um, but look how cute that is. And I thought it was so cute with this little, this cute little onesie. Um, he's super handsome sauce, I tell you. He's so cute. He's so much fun. Um, <laughs> now we have the planes. Sorry, everybody. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to tell you guys that, show you a little haul I have for him. He just has no winter or no summer stuff. So uh, I am going to take some things up to Once Upon a Child, sell them, and try to get him just a few more things of su like summer clothes. Because um, we've got about another month or two, um, at least, of summer, hot summer weather. So... Uh, I may do that, and um, I will try to come on with Danny, my Maisie, who's my new baby too. Uh, I'm wanting to change out her body and uh, reweight her. She's very heavy, um, but I will come on with her uh, soon. I um, I overdid it this weekend, and I woke up this morning in incredible pain. Um, I'm. <laughs> I could barely walk or move. Um, it's, I just, I overdid it. And then I was, I didn't sleep the night before. I didn't sleep uh, Friday night because my cats kept me up fighting. And then I didn't sleep all day. And yeah, I, I slept too long and laid in one position too long. And I woke up and every part of my body hurts. Um, I'm struggling with a migraine, but I wanted to make sure that I, came on with a video for you guys and depending on how I'm feeling tomorrow will depend on whether or not Reborn News is going to be um, up. Uh, I'm not going to be able to even remotely do anything with that today. Uh, I have work tonight so again it's just really going to depend on what kind of shape I'm in when I get off work tomorrow on whether or not Reborn News is going to be on tomorrow. I will do my very very best. Um, but I just wanted to, to let you guys know that and say I'm sorry in advance if it's not. Um, I have all three of my jobs this week. So um, I'll do my best to come on with the babies. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that I got, um, got Mr. Toby in and show you guys uh, just him and him in natural light and... Uh, some of his clothes and if anybody's interested um you know and getting the sculpt you know just kind of helping because yeah I made the mistake of going ahead of time and buying clothes and yeah so anyway um I hope you guys all had a wonderful weekend and uh I will see you guys very very soon you take care of you goodbye aunties uncles <laughs>